In part three of the Triplanar tutorial, we are going to take and turn all of this mess into a material function so that it's easy to reuse and maintain. Now to do that, I'm going to start by creating a new material function. We'll name it try function and open it up. see it has an output result and pretty much nothing else. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and copy all of this. Control C and Control V. Now as you can see it didn't bring in all of our parameters. So we're going to have to modify all that. But first, let's make it so that we can actually find it in the function library. So you can give it a description here. Turn on the Expose the Library checkbox. And this will be essentially the folder that it's found under. I start mine with an exclamation point And save it. So now, we drag the function in. but it doesn't do anything at this point. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect all of our nodes to the output. Now we need to set up some inputs. So we're going to put an input node, change the function type to texture 2D, connect up the texture, W Okay, so now we have our input for the textures, and it's throwing errors. Uh, essentially, we you have to have a preview notice, a preview of some kind, otherwise it just doesn't work. So I use this default alpha texture, since it's it since it's one of the editor files, it'll always be there, so you don't really have to worry about deleting it. So drag that in. So we have to use a texture object. You get rid of this now. Now you connect the texture object. And all of our errors are gone. But you can see that our uh, texture scale parameter and our uh, fade parameter are missing. So we'll have to add an input connector there. Uh, we'll name it uh, Texture Scale. Copy this one. And fade. So that works. Go ahead and save it. And I just want to change the names of these inputs. In text 
side. This one is attach top. In attach front. So now we have our function. First, let's copy all of this because we're going to use most of it later. When we do the, uh, well, we're going to end up using that when we do the normal map tutorial. strength in here. Okay, now see the flow three is not compatible, so we have to convert this to a texture object, and then we can plug it in. Texture object. working material function that uh, blends three textures together. Change our blend strength and our texture scale. And everything works as it, as it did before. It's just a lot cleaner. now. So that will be it for this tutorial. In the next one we'll, we'll combine uh, normal maps, which doesn't work properly with this setup.